refresh Facebook. I let me see. Cool, we are live. Okay, so I'm gonna watch me because I can see me in real time. All right. Okay, every time I have to get on live, I always have to do this sound check because things want to mess up. All right, but welcome back, friend. Welcome to another episode of me going live on Facebook. I'm here to teach you everything that I know about finance, well-being, and productivity, time management, all of that good stuff. If you're new here, we go live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. This is episode 9, if you can see down here. This is episode 9. Tonight, we're going to talk about this up here. This is three things that are killing your income. There are obvious things that eat at your money, all right? So that's buying expensive things. That's going to be things that you, uh, these are things that you can't afford, by the way. When we go out to eat, uh, I am a victim of that. I love eating out. I don't care. I eat out every day. It is one of my vices I'm trying to get rid of. <laughs> uh, and even something as simple as bank fees, which if you know me, I am adamant about you getting rid of a traditional bank. They're scamming you nowadays. But what if I told you, my friend, that there are some silent killers that are eating your chances of wealth that you probably aren't even aware of? Well, I'm here to make you aware of them. And please forgive me. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Izzy. Please allow me to be your virtual mentor. I am a finance coach and finance enthusiast. I love everything finance and well-being and productivity, hence why I teach it. Okay, so here are the three things. Number one is debt. Now, if you guys watch me from episode episode one, and, and we're on episode nine, I'm going to do one more episode, and this will conclude season one of the live, but uh, season two, we're going to go all in on debt, all right? But if you don't know me by now, I talk about paying off debt. And here's why. Let me tell you something. Let me let me let me give you guys a story. So if you took your money and that money made 30 percent on interest, right, on in upwards of 30 percent or 23 or 24 percent, if you want to be technical, if you were getting that much money on your money every month. Would you invest? Your obvious answer would be yes. Yes, Izzy, I would definitely invest. Well, this is what credit cards and loans and debt, this is definitely what debt is doing to you. They're making money off of you owing them, okay? So your debt is constantly growing, right? And, oh. It's getting harder in today's world when we have things like buy now, pay laters, and uh, rent to owns, and subscription models, and places like a firm. And I'm not bashing a firm, but you know, you got things like that that are making debt sexy. And that's pretty much what I don't like about today's world. But if you're not careful, you'll spend your entire life paying off debt. Debt is eating away at everything that you do. Imagine this. You're making money and you have to keep constantly paying people. How can you be a millionaire if you owe $1.1 million? You get what I'm saying? So definitely establish a get out plan to be debt free. All right. And somewhere in the near future, maybe in season two, I'll definitely put together a guide for you guys to, uh, sort of establish a plan, okay? But debt is killing your income. Number two is taxes. Oh my God, taxes. Okay, so taxes, and I did a little bit of research. Taxes, I will say, are important, okay? Back in the days, the government was like, hey, we need money. We'll, we're gonna take a little bit from you guys and, you know, supposedly supposed to pay it back but you know then the government got too comfortable <laughs> with with people paying taxes all right so uh the bottom line is you pay taxes 
every time you get paid or if you make money, you have to pay taxes, okay? Um, and you don't have to like it, but if you don't pay taxes, IRS is going to be knocking at your door. But here's the thing. If you are an employee, you will pay in upwards of 50% of your money in taxes. And if you don't believe me, take your last year's tax return, take your AGI, and divide it by how much the government gave you back. If you got a tax refund, take your adjusted gross income and divide it by how much the government gave you back. And you will see it is at or around 50%. Uh, the last two years, the past two years, I've been paying about 47% in taxes. Okay, so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, how are you paying close to 50% of tax when others can uh, are paying less than that or some in, in some cases paying nothing at all? The reason is, is because they know the game. Okay, when you know the tax game, you will know that tax taxes can be a beneficial thing okay um and a lot i know you're probably saying well why don't we just give that tax to the rich let me tell you something the government did impose a tax on the rich right the government said you're right we're gonna tax the rich but you want to know the thing about the rich the rich understood uh that their money was their money so they started figuring out loopholes and all of that stuff. And guess who all those high taxes fell on? You, the middle class and, yeah, pretty much middle class. I'm not going to call anyone that's watching this poor because you're not poor. You know, that's mindset. So if you're watching this, you're not poor. But all of that fell on the middle class, okay? So pretty much, essentially, it was a bad idea. <laughs> Uh, but understand, you know, I'm not saying avoid taxes. I'm not saying that at all because, like I said, if you don't pay it, they're going to get their money somehow. Um, but definitely understand how much you're paying and figure out ways that you can lower your taxes. There are a multitude of ways to lower your taxes. I'm not going to get into it because I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not here to give you advice of such the sort unless you were to work with me and I could literally look at your financial statements okay the last thing oh and this one is a silent killer like like you wouldn't even imagine okay the last one is inflation the last one is inflation now if you're new here and you're new to the money game what is inflation? What even is that? Inflation is basically uh, me saying, I have $100. I'm going to buy something that costs $100 in the, in, in the USA. I'm going to buy something that costs $100. By next year, what costs me, what it would take, to, uh, uh, what $100 would buy today would be a lot less by next year basically inflation is when your purchasing power decreases and one of the main reasons that our purchasing power is decreasing by the year is because of the printing of money and you know if you're like me all last year the government has been giving you money where do you think they got this money from okay they're just printing money out of thin air by the trillions, I might add. And if you if you've taken economics in class, you will understand that when the supply is high, the value of something goes completely down. So that's basically what money is doing. That's basically what U.S. currency is doing at this moment. OK, and it is a bad thing because inflation affects everyday life like the cost of gas. I'm pretty sure you've seen. I'm not happy about it. Gas went from 270 to like three dollars, and I think I seen one store that was three dollars and twenty five cents. Like, you know, geez, like, you know, that's an upwards of, you know, uh, 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 doing the quick math. I just got out work. Sixty cents, you know, and you might be like, well, that's just sixty cents, but sixty cents per gallon is like, oh my gosh, you know, you're paying. 
you know, a lot more. What used to what used to cost me twenty five, twenty six dollars to fill up now cost me thirty two to thirty five dollars. You get what I'm saying? So inflation is bad, but it's across the board. It's gas. It's living. It's it's eating. You know, your food is being inflate uh, is going through inflation. Um the best way to get rid of inflation or overcome it, I should say, is to increase your income. Steady increase your income. A lot of people will tell you to invest in the stock market. The stock market uh, returns on average about 8% every year. Even through all of this, it returns 8%. Meanwhile, inflation is going up. Uh, inflation is about two to three percent. So you make a little bit more money. Uh, you can overcome inflation. OK, if you need to get a better job, if you need to get a raise or some sort of that, you need to be figuring out ways to increase your income. Otherwise, the cost of things are going to go up. Meanwhile, your income is flatlining. And at some point in time, at some point in time, um, you know, it's going to be, if, if you're not feeling it now, it's going to cost you, you, you basically won't be able to, uh, comfortably afford everyday living. And that's what I don't want you to get to. All right. Just a quick little fun fact, well, not fun at all, but, um, the inflation, the inflation rate for June, remember I told you the annual inflation rate is usually about three to 4% just in the month of June last month. The inflation rate for June was uh, about five point, I think it was like 5.9% just in one month, okay? And the crazy thing about that is it's been the highest, that is the highest inflation rate since 2008. Now, if you're with me, you will know that 2000, what was important about 2008? 2008, we were in uh, another form of recession. We had a housing crisis, the the economy was crashing, all of that stuff. So this has been the highest since our last recession. So we definitely need to get uh, get a plan and get a get out plan. And uh, for your debt, you need to be working on your taxes and you need to be figuring out how to overcome inflation. And uh, like I said, the quickest way to do that is to increase uh, the best way, excuse me, is to increase your income. And if you heard me just now, I talk about having a strategy. You definitely need a strategy, but I would like to give you a starting point. If you don't have a starting point, I have a free guide that will help you. OK, my goal for you is to have two thousand dollars saved up in your bank account within the next 90 days. OK, so I'm going to give you a link to my free guide. It's called the new money mindset. I want you to have the new money mindset. OK, it's only five steps, but these five steps are going to be the starting point for your financial journey. So if you're struggling to uh, uh, pay bills and feel like you can't get ahead, definitely start with this free guide. OK, it's free. What do you have to lose? All I need is your email. I promise I'm not a person that scams. I work. A regular job I don't have time to be trying to scam people and things like that okay and plus my reputation is on the line so I'm not gonna give you something that I don't uh, believe in and haven't done myself I followed this guide and here I am today telling you about these things I'm very adamant because I want to teach my friends and family about how to change their family tree and change their financial situation okay so here's that link definitely check that out uh, and check out my YouTube channel I post videos every single Wednesday the recaps of these live go uh, go live on Thursday so you'll get this week's episode next week okay we got one more week like I said we got one more week of uh, this season I decided to make it a season because next season uh, we're going to be looking into podcasting and we're going to be looking into, you know, kind of more hands on guides and things like that. So I've been definitely uh, planning this out. So uh, I just sent the link to my YouTube channel and the new money mindset guide. 
All right, guys, this has been another uh, episode of my live. Um, I definitely hope that you got something out of this. I definitely hope that um, every episode I want something to be eye-opening, okay? So we got one more episode. Uh, let's see what we're talking about next week. Next week, we're going to talk about ten, uh, some things that I've seen some rich people do that you might want to follow. So if you're uh, interested in that, definitely check it out. We go live next Thursday. But as for tonight, I've been your virtual mentor, Izzy. And until next time, peace.